Good morning, everybody. Cheers. Mm. A neighbor is playing a musical instrument right now, maybe a trombone. Um, and I am sitting outside for a little morning breakfast. I have oatmeal with berries and a cappuccino. I have my journal and a book. I'm just gonna sit out here and read and write for a little bit. Um, I'm also gonna light some Palo Santo um, just to make a vibe. Um, I, we're on like our last week. It's been two weeks since I've talked directly to you. Um, we had a whole week with the kiddo here, a whole two weeks with the kiddo here, and the kiddo loved it, fell absolutely head over heels. And I think, I think I love it. I think it grew on me. I think I have adjusted and I love it and I don't want to leave. I don't know, I knew that was gonna happen. I think I predicted that. Um, right now it feels crazy, but I think it's probably gonna end up being a really meaningful and beautiful place for us. But I also like couldn't have conceptualized it, if that makes sense. So yeah, excited to be here. I'm on a writing retreat right now. I thought I was gonna do, this vlog was gonna be like a typical day in my life, um, like on the writer's retreat. But honestly, there is no typical day in my life right now. <laughs> Every day is very different and I'm trying to be spontaneous as possible and just kind of embrace that part of, of being here and it's been a lovely. Um, so I'm gonna stay with that. So basically, we'll see what the day holds for us. <laughs> um, I don't know what, what it'll be. I have some ideas of what I think will happen, but pretty much, we don't know. We're gonna definitely write, and we're definitely going to probably, <laughs> definitely going to probably meet up with a friend this afternoon, um, and then maybe some other friends later this evening, I don't know. So, but right now, what we do know is we're gonna journal, we're gonna read, we're gonna eat, and we're gonna start our morning out here in under the trees, which is my favorite place. Um, I have got to tell you that I solved the smell problem. Um, I think next year, one of you recommended these like moisture scent wicking things. I'm gonna bring those with us, leave them out. But then I also found this um, from Aromatech. It's the white tea scent and it's supposed to be a dupe for like the Hilton hotels. Friends, it smells so good. I put like one drop in a diffuser in the dining room, one in the living room, and the whole downstairs smells like a hotel, like a clean, fresh, it, it, it smells really clean in here now. <laughs> that's amazing. So um, yeah, that's like really got me on top of the world. I just got it yesterday, so um, it's like gonna be here for the last week, but definitely for next year, I know, I know what to do. And now I'm going to go upstairs. Um, I created like a little office space up there. I had my office down here in this like tiny little room that just like smelled bad and was weird. And the kiddo when they were here slept in the room upstairs. And once they left, I just moved my office stuff into the room that they were in. And it feels really nice. We've like twinkle lights up and everything. So I'll go take you up there and we'll get started on some writing. I have dramatically adjusted my notion since I did my notion tour. Um, I have just wanted to reorganize it a bit. I wanted to have more personal stuff in there instead of just work related things. And so I'm just going to kind of quickly show you what I'm, what I'm working with right now. Um, so I created like a life hub um, and we have today, this week, we'll go into these monthly. I'm gonna make one for each quarter and one for the year. 
weather where we are <laughs> and then we have bookmarks this is just to my email um this goes to the business dashboard which is the one we're most familiar with looks like that now this goes to my writing dashboard which looks like this this is the current essay i'm working on and this is like my process i'm on draft for today <laughs> uh, of that essay and then i have some poems i'm working on and then I have, um, once I want to edit, like briefly edit it, I'll put it here. And um, some like notes I've taken here. Then we have, we'll go back to the Life Hub and the personal dashboard. This has got my weekly overview, weekly reflection, my weekly reset routine, our budgeting outline, um, field notes, which is what I, my commonplace book, where you just have like notes for books um that i've been reading not i only do that for nonfiction books goals for the quarter and they look like this then we have just my reflection outlines what i like to run through and then i have my monthly pages um now if we go back to the life hub we have the today spread which looks like this i've got my pomodoro timer i have my task list for the day I have my win the day list, the three things I need to do to have a good day. I have not done, I've done this and this. Okay. Um, this is a playlist I like on Spotify. This is my time, like kind of have it, um, my, if I want to time block. Um, and then I have my morning journal prompts and my evening journal prompts there. And then we go into this week. This week looks like this. Um, my focus is for the week. Um, I have my tasks for every weekday. And then if I come up with tasks I need to do next week, I'll put a note there. And then I have my weekly reflection, which looks like this. These are all just prompts that I run through every week. I used to do this in my journal, but now I do it here. And then my weekly reset routine, which is these are the things I try to do throughout the weekend to feel prepared for the weekday. And then we have the monthly overview, which is a little less exciting. These are like important dates. Um, this is like any monthly planning. I have a monthly reset, which I really like. Like we can go into a blank one and it just has like all these prompts. Um, let's go back to monthly overview. Um, we have my goals, my big task list, my monthly task list. I don't necessarily love this, but these are the main tasks that I need to do for the month of July. And then I, when I'm working on them, I'll put them here. And then when they're complete, I'll put them here. And yeah, so that's kind of the gist. So, um, that being said, right now I need to go in and just do the light work I have to do. I don't have much. I just need to check my emails and um, check on Instagram, make sure nothing weird is happening. I'm mostly unplugged. There's no social media on my phone, but um, I do like to just, I'll check online because I don't, I'm not trying to unplug fully necessarily, but I'm gonna check email, I'm gonna check Instagram. I'm going to um, then kind of get a sense of what writing I want to do. So here's the thing. I had a goal to write, finish this one essay that I had in my brain and I'm on round four of it. In order to finish it, I need to print it out and kind of look at it on paper. And I think that'll help me to see where I can improve it. So until I do that, I really want to work on something else. So I think I'm going to try and write um, on a poem that I have in my brain and um, then we'll We'll edit this afternoon on the other piece. But all that to say, right now, I'm going to focus on the work elements of the day. Check my email, check on my Instagram. Hello. Um, so I was working in the office and Obi was like, did you go to the coffee shop without me? <laughs> um, because normally we go to the coffee shop in the early afternoon mornings. Um, 
well normally I don't even know what we do I think sometimes we do that and I think today he thought I left without him but that put the idea in my head to come to the coffee shop to do some work the thing about being in Swanee is that the coffee shop is like the only social place like or it's like the social hub kind of so like coming here is where we're gonna like run into friends or if we feel like just kind of being social um now here's the thing everybody we know is in an mfa program or teaching an mfa program so they're all really busy um but it's just sometimes nice to be around people so that is what we're gonna do I just dropped Obi off at the library. He is going to grab, um, he's printing out my essay for me and some of his work that he has to do. But I am going to go grab myself a little beverage um, and then find us a table. I can set up. <laughs> Damn, I didn't bring a highlighter. Oh, I have okay. one highlighter we could share. Really? Yeah. This is only six pages. I could I was kind of debating on whether I would read or work on this story, so I'm gonna read. <laughs> Okay, so I didn't get a lot of writing done necessarily this morning, but I did get a lot of, I just kind of like allowed ideas to flow. I'm in like a really interesting state of editing where I cannot tell which elements are good, which are not, which ones <laughs> need fleshing out, which ones don't. Um, I'm writing in a different style than I normally write in, and I think it's kind of throwing me off a little bit. But I'm enjoying the challenge by for sure. Um, right now, I'm about to make some lunch. But before I do, I need to bake, or I need to at least preheat the oven to bake a wild grain. Um, that has been, whew, that has been so nice since we've been here to have bread to bake and like things like like treats and stuff. I think I'm gonna do the ciabatta. I also have. Sourdough walnut. I think I want, I feel like ciabatta sounds more savory, which is more what we need. So I'm gonna do the ciabatta. Um, and I need to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. So I'll preheat the oven. And while that's preheating, I'll make some lunch. And then that'll be good. What I'm making for lunch is kimchi rice. We have some like leftover rice from last night's dinner. I have some gochujang, which is like hot sauce, and then some kimchi. And I think I'm gonna put cheese in it. I think that'll be great. And then we've just been eating raw vegetables with like dip um, on the side, and I think I'm gonna make some of that. <laughs> um, maybe cut up an orange or something. That feels good. Okay, well, let's go. I'm just gonna put a bunch of kimchi in the pan to like kind of fry up. My absolute favorite thing to do with leftover rice. It takes like no time to make and it's absolutely delicious i love her also i'm having a diet coke summer i don't know what happened like something just switched in my brain and i was like craving it all the time and we're done that's that's lunch my food is ready before the oven preheated so i think i'll just come back to that in a little bit when i come to clean up and revisit it but right now i'm gonna go upstairs i'm gonna eat my lunch, watch a little YouTube myself, um, and I'll catch up back up with you a little bit later when I go back when something else is happening. Honestly, I don't know. When, I don't know what that's gonna be, but we'll we'll catch back up. Time to clean.
so the bread takes about 20 minutes to bake so I think I'm gonna take that time and just do a quick writing sprint based off of the insights that I kind of garnered this morning and just see what I can do in 20 minutes I don't know how much it'll be um, but I'm gonna give it a go with Elizabeth um, she's amazing she's like a mindfulness coach um, you all definitely should check her out um, Elizabeth Watkins price the kiddo is here we had frozen go-gurts for them as like dessert each night and um, I've been eating them ever since uh, they left someone's got to eat them and it's actually kind of the perfect snack so don't judge me Probiotic, you know. I mean, that's obviously you, you're starting with it, but. <laughs> 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 I'm so red faced. Three of us. That was, they ran me around. <laughs> so, perils of a small town. We are like, like an hour and 15 minutes after. We originally went to go find dinner. We drove to the, uh, the next town over to go to a place that our tennis mates said was good. And it closed at six, which is a crazy, a crazy time for a restaurant to close. And then we were like, okay, fine. We'll go to this other restaurant. We go there, we place our orders. We wait an hour and the food just never comes. And we're like, is the food gonna come sometime? And they're like, it's probably gonna be a while. At that point, it's like 8 p.m. And we're like, we need to eat. So we come home to just make like a PP and J or something. And uh, the it's like torrential downpour outside. Like, you know, the kind of rain where you can be out there for just like two seconds and you're completely soaked. Um, so we got like pretty soaked on the way in, but we're inside, <laughs> we're, we're back. Um, it, the rain is, the rain is raining, but I'm just going to make some soup dumplings, I think, instead of a PB&J, because I think I have some Trader Joe's freezer items, and that sounds great. Ooh, or I can make like a steak and stout pie. Um... I'm just gonna do these guys. I think all that I have left to do today is shower and journal and go to bed after dinner and that's probably all gonna happen pretty fast. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Um, I hope it made sense as always. Thank you guys so much for joining me for the like pretty much the last week in Suwannee. We leave next week so um I think we'll have one more Sawani vlog before we go. But thank you guys so much for being here. And I will see you next week for another one. Bye.